what's going on guys my name is trailer and today I'm going to talk about fail stacking why it's important and I want to show you how to fail stack now keep in mind my way of fail stacking might not be the best way it's the way I do it there's a hundred different ways to fail stack and there's a thousand different people who are going to tell you the right way to fail stack this is just what works best for me you're more than welcome to use my method or you can use somebody else's let's get right into it the first thing you need to know is you're going to need as many alternate characters as you can get the reason for this is when you're enhancing an item once you reach a certain point there's a stopping point to where it's no longer beneficial to try to enhance that item anymore you can use that fail stack that you have to enhance a different piece of gear whether it be higher level or whatnot so as you can see here I have all these characters and I have enhancements on them I was enhancing a piece of I was enhancing an item and I got the 22 fail stacks on this character and at 22 it's more beneficial for me to use that 22 stack to enhance another item to duo or to enhance a, a piece of accessory to, tr uh, to, to pry so I stopped and then I would switch characters go to a different one start all over again and try to enhance that item all right once you make your character you only have to run them through about the first 10 quests or so to be able to enhance on that character once you have that done you want to run your character to Velia because in Velia is where you're going to be doing all of your fail stacking, and I'll get to that point in a minute. Now, let's say you have stacks on all your characters, and you can't switch characters to start another stack. Well, what you would do at this point is you would go on a character that has a fail stack already, go to the blacksmith here in Velia, and he's going to sell you one of these books, Blacksmith's Secret Book. Now, <clears throat> let's have a 22 fail stack on that one character, so I would need to get the higher number book to withdraw that 22 fail stack. So I would get this 30 fail stack book, and what it's going to do is it's going to take that 22 stale fail stack off that character, and it's going to put it into like a, a, a Valk's Cry book for you. All right, so it's just going to put it into like a little scroll that you can use at any point in time to have 22 fail stacks on a character. I would only use these once you have all of your other characters fail stacks on because you see these do cost a couple million a piece depending on what fail stack you want to extract. Now let's talk about why you should fail stack. For instance here, I have a piece of Grunel armor that's at plus 12. I want to take this to plus 13. So if I was to upgrade this to plus 13 right now, I have zero fail stacks. You see the big zero and yellow right over here. If I also take this to plus 13 right now, I have an 8% chance. You see under enhancement says I have an 8% chance for this to go. Now, it'll take five durability off this item every time I fail. So, price of Grunel is about 350,000 on the central market right now, Grunel armor. So, every two fails, it's going to cost me 350,000 to repair that armor back up. All right. Now, if I get a couple fail stacks, and I put my Grunel armor back in, you see my percent to enhance has went up. I now have a 10.4% chance for this to go instead of an 8% that I had before. So the whole theory of fail stacking is you want to use a cheap cheap piece of armor or weapon to build your fail stack higher so you can upgrade the piece of armor or weapon that you want to upgrade, that you want to enhance. So this is why you come to Velia. In Velia, you're going to want to come to the blacksmith. And you're going to want to get either Reblath gloves or Reblath shoes because these are the two cheapest items. The reason you get these is you want to get it to four, plus 14 because the hardest enhancement level is from plus 14 to plus 15. So this is how you're going to build all your fail stacks. So if I fail two times on this, on Reblath gloves, if I fail enhancing it twice, it's going to cost me 12,900 silver instead of the 350,000 silver it's going to cost me on Grunel. See what I'm saying? Now, you want to use Reblath gloves or Reblath shoes, whichever you prefer, for your armor to enhance with, to uh, build fail stacks with armor stones. 
if you want weapons, if you have an excess of weapon stones, you'll come up here to the arms dealer Let me see how your eyes are and you buy a militia weapon. Like for me, I have a militia sword, so that's what I use. It costs 13400 to build fail stacks on that. So let's talk about what happens if your reblath or your militia weapon gets to plus 15. At plus 15, you can no longer build fail stacks on them. Okay, just accept that quest. If you see here, I can't put my plus 15 in there and build fail stacks with normal armor stones anymore. It's going to go to, it needs to go from plus 15 to pry, and you have to use concentrated armor stones for that, so I can no longer use that piece. What you, what you do when that happens, when it goes to plus 15 on you, because it will happen, a 2% chance seems to uh, happen a lot more often than uh, you would think. But you come up here in the northern part of Velia, inside this church up here, there's a guy you talk to, and he's going to de enhance your gear down to plus 14 for you. And it's going to cost you, I think, 100,000. You talk to this guy here. Go over to cleanse gear, put the piece you want to cleanse in, and then you hit extract. And that brings it down to plus 14. So now we can continue to build fail stacks off that piece of reblath. So as you're building fail stacks, you'll realize that your durability of the item you're building a fail stack on goes down. You see here, Militia Longsword has a durability of 75, my reblath has a durability of 80. This is why you build them off of cheap gear because once you get down to 20 you can no longer build fail stacks off of them so my reblath is at 80 so I'm going to buy two reblath gloves and want to repair recover max durability on the reblath and we take it back up to 100 now we can continue to build fail stacks off of it so I'm going to th go through my method of building fail stacks for you guys the way I built fail stacks, depending on what I need to upgrade. But let's say I need to get. Well, first, let's. I'm gonna upgrade this this plus 12 grunel for you. All right. So I have a plus 12 grunel right now. I have a 10% chance for it going. Oh, well, I want to get that higher. <clears throat> so I put my reblath in there, and I start building the stack. Now on items that are green, I tend to just go to the number that I want to fail stack the, to the number that it's at to go to the next fail stack. See, now I have a 17% chance. I would start this item here to get to plus 13. Let's go ahead and do that. And it went on the first one. Now, for instance, if it didn't go on the first one, I was on a 12 fail stack, I would stop at plus 18. The reason I would stop at plus 18 is at 18, I can take a piece of armor that's plus 15 or a weapon that's plus 15 and I can make it pry at an 18 fail stack. So there's certain stopping points, like I said, that you want to get to that it's no longer beneficial for me to continue to upgrade that item. Alright, now I'm going to show you guys how I build fail stacks. I start with Reblath or Militia, depending on what I have available. So, put my Reblath in armor stones in. <clears throat> I'm going to take this all the way to plus 16. And it, there's a good chance it'll pop on you. I mean, Reblath loves to pop on you at the worst time, so don't, di don't get discouraged. It's going to happen eventually. Now, once I have this to plus 16, I can't enhance anymore. It's at 20, so I take it out. And at this point is where I use a, a green item, whether it be armor or weapon. A green item that I can enhance all right now the best ones to choose if you look at your central market it's just a cheap one like I use Lux shoes with Fortuna all right there it cost me 27,700 to buy there's plenty of them on the market so I don't have to worry about them running out anytime soon so whenever I need to repair it, to enhance more, to build more fail stacks, I got plenty to choose from. It doesn't cost me but twice as much as the Reblath does. And you can do this with any piece you want. You know, if you wanted to use gloves, you can use gloves. Just make sure there's plenty of them, like Rubaka gloves here. There's a whole bunch of them on the market. You can use fail stacks on this. You can use weapons. It doesn't matter. It's just 
just a piece of green gear is all you need because you can choose durability on green gear as long as it's below plus 15. So we'll go back to our Black Spirit here. I built my 16 fail stack. So now I'm going to put my Lux Shoes Fortuna in here. Put my Armor Stones in. And I want to choose... Okay, hold on a second. I want to choose Durability. You see there, Durability is going to decrease the chance of it actually going. Enhanced decreases or increases the rate of it enhancing. Durability is going to decrease the rate of it enhancing and it's going to take less durability per use. All right, so I choose durability. I put that on there and then I'll build this up to 20. Now once I reach 20, this is the stopping point that I use. So I'll take this out and then from 20 on up, I use pry, duo, and try armor to get up the rest of the way. And you can do that, the best way to do that is like if you had an alternate character, like I have, this is my alternate character I use for bosses. So I would use a piece of gear here, a Bruno helmet or a pry piece right here, and I'd put that in there and I'd try to enhance it to duo to give me more fail stacks. All right, the best way to look at this is if you have a plus 15, you're trying to get to pry, if you fail, you get two stacks off of that. If you have a pry and you're trying to go to duo, you get three stacks off of that. If you have a duo and you're going to try, you get four stacks, and a try going to tech gets five stacks. So that's how you're going to continue to build your fail stacks plus 20. You could take this fail stack up to 25 if you'd like. I just, it tends to pop on me more often after I go past 20, so I always stop at 20. But I build all my fail stacks starting this way up to 20. I use Reblath or I use Militia to go to 16. And then I'll use my green gear, whatever, whichever one it's going to be, to go up to 20. And from this point, like I said, I would pop in this piece of pry, has a 23% chance of going, and I'd let it go. If it goes to duo, since it's an alt character, it's not really that big a deal for me. If it doesn't, well, I, I just got three fail stacks right there, all right? And then once I get up higher, like say I'm 28 or so, I would take a piece of duo gear. I'd put the duo gear in there, and that'll give me four fail stacks if I fail going to try on that. Now, you don't have to have an alternate character to do all this. You could very well just use... Uh, the gear that you have here, like the, the green gear that you're using, you could just use that. So for instance, I use Lux Shoes of Fortuna. So I would get a few of them. I would have one, uh, I'd have one sitting at plus 14 to build fail stacks on. Then I'd have one at Pride to build fail stacks on that, one at Duo for fail stacks, and one at Try for fail stacks. And you just keep on alternating in between them and building fail stacks off them. Like I said, you get two stacks from going 15 to Pry. You get uh, three stacks, Pry to Duo. Duo to Try is four stacks. Try to Tet's five stacks. And that's just how you're going to build up your fail stacks. So now that we've talked about all that, let's talk about stopping points when fail stacking. All right. So for instance, I have this plus 13 Grunel Armor. I wanted to get to plus 14. So I would take my fail stack up to plus 13, and then I would fail on it to plus 18. If it doesn't go before my, when my fail stack hits plus 18, if it hasn't upgraded by that point in time, I would stop. That plus 18 fail stack can be used to pry any piece of armor or weapon, or pry, a piece, or pry an accessory. So I stop at 18 on that. Now let's say I have a plus 15 and I'm trying to pry it. I have an 18 stack and I'm trying to pry it. So I pry and it fails and I get up to 22. At 22, I'm now going to stop. That 22 stack I can use to duo a, a weapon or a piece of armor. I wouldn't use an accessory. I wouldn't duo an accessory on a 22 stack, but a weapon or piece of armor you can you can try duoing on that and from 22 my next stopping point would be 32 
at 32, that's when I would start going for try on, a, on an item, going from duo to try. Um, and pretty much you just go up another 10 after that. Like I would stop around 42, 42 to 45, you know, to for an attempt on a tet because your tets are, percentages are absolutely horrible. So it doesn't really matter from 45 to 65. I think you increase maybe four or five percent on a, a tet attempt. So it just doesn't really hurt to start at 45, to be honest with you. But, uh, you just want to make sure you don't go past your stopping points because that fail stack, it, it's like currency. It's it's money to you. You don't want to waste a fail stack. Like, I don't want to waste a 22 fail stack to get this piece of Gruno armor from plus 13 to plus 14 when I can use that 22 fail stack to get witch's earrings to pry or to get a seraph's necklace to pry or to get my, my weapon to pry. Or duo even so you always want to stop your fail stacks when they come to the point where it's not beneficial for you to continue to try to fail stack on them anymore that's all I have for today guys if you found the video helpful please leave a like and subscribe if you have any questions leave them in the comments section I plan on making a video about Loverto and I'll probably take a Loverto or boss gear to try on a video soon uh, until then take it easy and I'll catch you next time